Okay, just want to make a quick video for the channel here. Uh, someone in the comments was asking about how's it going with the oil catch can, and are you still getting, you know, a lot, is the oil catch can still filling up rapidly? And I just wanted to address kind of what was going on there. Um, the motor, I actually, if you watch the videos over the last couple of years, I had two separate issues relating to oil. One was oil consumption. One, the second was oil going in the catch can. Uh, to, to address the first issue with the catch can, uh, I no longer have that problem. In fact, the, there's so little oil in the catch can, I don't even think about it anymore. I could go three, four, five hundred 500 miles and maybe there's an ounce of oil in there, if that. Uh, ultimately, I tracked down the reason why the catch can was filling up, and that was because the LC Engineering cylinder head that I installed, along with the Duro timing chain cover that has a higher volume uh, pressure oil pump, it that cylinder head uses a, a casting from Spain and the oil return hole on the back is restricted. So you got to open that up. If, you, if you're buying cylinder heads from anybody and they're not using Toyota castings, definitely double check that oil return hole. As soon as I open that hole up to instead of being a peanut shape to a round shape, and you can see it in one of my older videos, all the problems with the catch can went away. The second issue I had with the pickup truck was it was burning a lot of oil. I was going through a quarter oil every 350 miles, which was nuts. I finally tracked that problem down to uh, the, the wrong size piston rings in the short block. Now, when I bought my truck, I inherited kind of a, a question mark motor. You know, the previous owner didn't really know the guy before him. He thought they had put a motor from a junkyard in. So lots of weird stuff had happened on the truck before I got it. The short version is somewhere along the lines, somebody rebuilt the bottom end of the motor. They boarded over 20 thousandths, but they inadvertently put in standard size rings instead of oversized rings. And that resulted in the wrong uh, tension between the rings and the, the cylinder walls. And, and that caused the rings to fail and for and the motor to have excessive blow by and to burn large amounts of oil. When I built, when I redid the motor the first time, I only did the head. I saw that someone had done the pistons, and I thought, well, they must. I they probably knew what they were doing if they bored the motor over. I didn't bother pulling the pistons out. That was my mistake. I should never have trusted another engine builder. You know, I should have pulled the motor apart, blueprinted it, put it all back together. That's what I did the second time. And if you see the videos, I put in Keith Black Pistons, ceramic coated the inside of the motor, used, uh, I believe it's total, total seal rings, which have slightly higher tension to them. Since doing that and rebuilding the motor for the second time, uh, everything has been run pretty well. Yes, the motor still burns a little bit of oil, a few ounces every 300, 400 miles, but nothing crazy like I was seeing before. So, all in all, for the, 20, the, the little 22RE here, it's been running uh, pretty phenomenally well. Around town, gas mileage is 1920. On the highway, you know, plus or minus 25 miles per gallon, basically, depending on the wind and the incline of the road and all that stuff. So, I'm very pleased with how things came out. For the person who, on the channel who was asking, like, you know, whatever happened with the catch can... Uh, the issue was basically related to either rapid acceleration, which would cause oil to pull back to the back of the cylinder head and get sucked up in the catch can through the PZV system, or going up very steep inclined hills where the, the oil would, again, slosh back and swamp the PCV system, and, and then your PCV system turns into basically an oil vacuum cleaner, and then you get a lot of oil. You know, sometimes I go 10 miles and I have two ounces in there, so... Like I say, now I can go three, four, five hundred miles and it's barely more than, you know, maybe 20 milliliters or 30 milliliters, you know, three quarters of an ounce or an ounce of oil and then I just dump it back in there. So anyways, that kind of addresses the two issues I was chasing over the last couple of years and, and also addresses the question that the, the person on, on the channel had specifically to the catch can. Okay, uh, wish everyone a happy new year. 2024 is coming up here. Uh, as always, if you have any questions on anything I've covered in the video, feel free to use the comment section uh, below. Thanks for watching.